Some people just won the genetic lottery. The girl of this story is a beautiful example of that. Ira Marie Brown This is the story about Ira Marie Brown, also known as Ira Brown. Ira is a girl from the United States. She has been known as a beautiful child ever since she was born. She has often been described as the most beautiful girl in the world. Ira was born in 2009 and is now only 12 years old, but she has had a successful modeling career since she was very young. Her beauty never went unnoticed, which led to this career. Ira's parents have been helping her sign modeling contracts ever since she was two years old. Several agencies saw how gorgeous this child was, and she also happened to be photogenic. Soon after, she became a well-known model. First, she started off modeling for children's clothing. Photographers and companies loved her cute face. She had big blue piercing eyes, long lashes, a cute nose, and adorable chubby cheeks. No one could deny how cute and beautiful she was. So many photographers and companies were interested in her. So the little girl received job after job. This modeling career became a huge part of her life, as well as the lives of her parents, who tried their best to juggle everything and make sure that everything in her career was going right. She got so many projects that it became impossible for her parents to focus on their own jobs. They eventually quit their jobs in order to completely focus on their daughter's career. Sometimes she would have about eight commercials in a row in just one week. The studio became her second home. It could be hectic, but it was fun. Sometimes the parents couldn't believe that this was their life. Of course, they thought that their little girl was the most beautiful girl in the world, but they were surprised that other people, even strangers, thought the same. Besides being gorgeous, her parents have also said how great her personality is. The little girl is full of energy and passion. She loves to be photographed, and all her jobs make her excited. Even though being so young, she adores participating in fashion shows or commercials. It really seems as if this little girl is doing exactly as she is supposed to do. She loves it, and others love her. Her mother gave her her all to make sure her daughter is doing the job correctly. She was always proud of her daughter. Besides looking at her beautiful face, she also loves seeing her daughter enjoying this. The mother enjoys it just as much. Ira's mother also makes sure that her daughter is doing well. Her daughter's well-being is the main priority. This career is fun and impressive, but her daughter's well-being goes above all. She makes sure that her daughter is never overworked and that she really enjoys doing this career. Unfortunately, Ira's mother still received a lot of criticism, mainly because they think she makes a human doll out of her daughter. She puts makeup on Ira's face, does her hair, and sometimes even dyes her hair. This makes Ira's look even more striking, and this is also why she is called a Barbie at times. There were different opinions about this. Some believe that Ira was too young to have makeup on her face or to receive other treatments that are supposed to be for adults, not for children. Some believe that this is just a part of the job. Ira's mother believes the latter. Critics also believe that this child shouldn't do these kinds of jobs, especially not this many. They're afraid that her parents forced her to do this and just want to make a money-making machine out of their child. Her parents completely disagree. Her mother thinks that her daughter was just meant to do this. She noticed from a very young age that her daughter had certain talents. Ira also loves to dance, sing, and act. She really is a performer in all kinds of ways, and her mother wants to support her in that, despite all the criticism. Over the years, Ira turned into a big girl, and her career kept flourishing. Her passions grew stronger and stronger. She wasn't just a model anymore. She wanted to do more than modeling, and thankfully, she was able to make that dream come true. She became an actress as well. She started movies such as What Stars May Come. Ira loved it so much. It all became clear for Ira from a very young age. She just loved performing. She loved all kinds of performing, and she was fortunate enough to have had so many great opportunities that made her fulfill her dreams. None of this came as a surprise to her parents. My daughter is a star, her mother mentioned several times. Her mother knew that she had so much talent and believed that she had the possibility to do everything she wanted. She always supports and believes her. Just as when she was younger, Ira's mother wants her to just have fun. That is the most important thing. The young girl certainly had a lot of fun. She was always laughing and smiling with her one in a million face. Ira was known as the life of the party. She was always in a great mood and had that power to lighten everything up. With a personality and a face like that, Ira can definitely go far in life, even further than before. 
she really seems to be meant to do this. No one can deny that this girl just belongs in front of the camera. She really is a star. To this day, Ira keeps posing, dancing, singing, and performing. She loves doing all of this with all of her heart. She feels fortunate to have had a great career already, but there is so much that she still wants to do and achieve. She was always remembered as the most beautiful girl in the world, but this is how she looks now. All those years later, she is still beautiful and as bright as ever. With her big blue eyes, long blonde hair, and big smile, she steals everyone's hearts. And along with that beautiful face, she has a beautiful personality. Everyone, watch out for Ira Marie Brown. Thylane Blondeau Ira Marie Brown isn't the only girl who has been called the most beautiful girl in the world. Thylane Blondeau has experienced something similar and can probably understand how Ira feels. Thylane is a French model that has had a great modeling career ever since she was a little child, just like Ira. She also captivates others with her beauty, which made her become a model too. Her modeling career started when she was only 4 years old and has continued ever since. In 2011, when she was only 10 years old, she received the title of the most beautiful girl in the world. Thylane appeared in the French Vogue for Children, Vogue en France. Many people were blown away by this cover. They wondered how this young girl could be this beautiful and photogenic. She had a fierce and mature look on her face, even though she was just a little girl. Everyone around her believed that she was meant to do this. She just had it. She was born to be a supermodel. Thailand continued to do all kinds of photo shoots and runways. She became a professional model. She always seemed to be very confident and comfortable doing her job. She too received some criticism, similar criticism to Iris. Because of her job, Thailand also had to put on makeup quite often. Sometimes she also had to wear certain clothes that were more bold and weren't the typical clothes for children. It was just her job. She didn't have any problems with it and completely got used to it. She had been modeling almost all her life, so this was all normal to her. It didn't seem to be normal to many people. Her mother disagrees with all the criticism. She understands where they're coming from, but doesn't agree with them. It doesn't need to be taken that seriously. Her daughter just wants to have fun and live her dreams. Thylane really enjoys it, and that's why her mother completely supports it. Just like we have seen with Ira and her mother. Thylane has been modeling ever since. She is currently signed with IMG Models, one of the biggest modeling agencies in the world. She has been practicing her poses and walks on the runway and has turned into a complete pro. Thylane is becoming more and more famous as a model and has worked with the largest brands such as Dolce & Gabbana, L'Oreal, and Versace. She became a brand ambassador for L'Oreal Paris in 2017 alongside several other celebrities. She founded her own clothing brand in 2018 called Heaven May. Thylane thinks her job and fashion are amazing. She has mentioned several times that she really adores modeling and that her favorite part about it is to meet different photographers and makeup artists. She also loves to try on clothes. Modeling and fashion isn't the only thing that Thylane has been working on. Thylane keeps trying to learn new things and challenge herself. She has various passions, just like Ira, and loves to follow her dreams. In 2015, she had the opportunity to act in a movie called Belle and Sebastian, the Adventure Continues, a French adventure film. This was her acting debut and she found out that she also enjoys acting. Thylane also became quite famous on her social media accounts. She is active on different platforms such as Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Her most popular account is the one on Instagram. With her 3 million followers, she really became an online influencer. She is now a young adult and is just as gorgeous as she was when she was a little girl. She continues to follow her dreams and inspire others. She feels grateful to have had so many fantastic opportunities and can't wait to see what else there is in store for her. We're sure that she will do more amazing things. Thylane stays really humble, no matter how many great opportunities she has. When asked who she thinks the most beautiful girl in the world is, she responds by saying that in her opinion, it's not herself. Well, many others disagree. Ira and Thylane really have proved others how the both of them have clearly won the genetic lottery. Both girls have been gorgeous as little children and just became more and more beautiful as they got older. They have also shown us how much they have to offer in other aspects. They might be beautiful, but they are also ambitious and full of passion. The ladies work hard to continue to fulfill their dreams. We will definitely hear and see more of Ira and Thylane. What do you think about child modeling? Do you think it's something bad or do you believe that it's a great profession for some people? 
share your opinion with us in the comments. We are curious to hear it. We hope that you have enjoyed this video and we would like to see you back again at our new videos. Thank you for watching.